Okay. All right. I'm talking to you. So, anyways, grab the two pieces of tape. You set up this part. The reason for this is because you want your rock guy to pick up the rope, and he needs to slam it up against the tree like this. You need to keep both of the ends as straight as possible. When you come over here, come here. You're gonna have this guy right here. He's gonna take one clip. He's gonna take another clip. One's gonna go down. One's gonna go up like this. See? Posing gate. Posing, Posing gate. gate. All right. Got so it. He's gonna clip it right here. You clip it right here. You pull him out so that the rope is in there. And you come out around here. Wait on whoever's doing the end or uh, the wireman's knot. Okay, that'll be a different video. All right. From there. You all right. Do, all right from, that, that was just the reason for that. The reason, that was the reasoning behind putting that loop in the rope. Now we'll move over to Peak. Fucking Morgan Freeman over here. And Harry and Rope Ridge. When they, uh, when they call go, Peak is a swimmer guy. So he's going to do his knot. All right, so he's tie in a line bowling. The reason you do it is so you can secure it to your waist. So the way I do it is the killing baby, gay baby method. Palms are up, the ends in your left hand. You're going to check out to see what time it is. So you had a watch in your right hand. You're going to reach through the rope. So you're going to grab the baby, pull the baby out. So now you kind of got a hat. You're going to take the end Arb of the rope. <laughs> the Arby's hat. Yeah, the Arby's hat. End of the rope in the back of the head of the baby. Hold on to it and pull down. And you'll have it in the line bowl on every which time. inside the loop, which is important. Okay, got inside it. Inside the loop. Got and it. And all I do is put this on to cross the stream. Okay. All right, and what he does is he runs across the tree. So Pete's going to run across the tree. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to look at me. Because before he can start, he's going to start pulling the slot. we got to get this up. So before he can start doing that and tying his knot, you have to tie the wireman. All right, wireman's knot. The way the wireman's is you pick it up and you do three, you have two, three loops, or two loops. Or three ropes, right, right just like that. The easiest way to remember this is middle over left, middle over right, middle over left. All right, you're going to pull through. Well, before you pull through, your cl other clip guy, because there's two clip guys, is going to clip this this loop and this loop. The way hand, the, the two outside ones? The two outside loops. There's going to be one in the center, there's going to be one on the left and one on the right. Okay, we He's going to clip the two outside loops, so clip them. Clip. Clipping downward. Clipping clip down. Clip down. And then, while he's still holding it, it's important that he still holds it so the knight tightens properly. You're going to grab the two bottom ropes and the top loop, and you're going to pull tight. Sometimes you have to pull each one separately to get good, good and tight. Okay. Now your other clip guy is going to be holding the imposing gaze, opposing. And he's going to, and I'm going to come over and I'm going to do that and he's going to clip down on that one okay. and let go. And that one's good to go. Now your rock guy, it's important. Christian, can you be the rock guy for now? Y'all gave me the easiest job for two years. I did that shit for two straight years. He's going <laughs> to pick up. He's going to put the rope up without losing any of that. And then Pete's going to run back over there and pick up the flat. The rock. Meanwhile, the guy who's doing the wireman's not He's going to hold this out as far as he can get it. The important thing for the guy who's doing the rock is to not let the, the two sides shift at all. So they what, need to stay the middle of that extra leg right there, he's holding in place. Yeah, got it. Right. They need to stay. Which means that you've got to hold it. Like, this, this rope can't really move that much. Go. Now, he's going to do his knot. All right. Um, got the rope tight, toy, like a toyger. As high as I can get it. Alright, the important thing to remember is when he's doing this knot, he's going to come back, he's got to come back around. Yep. Come around the back side. He's going to bite, come around. He's going to bite over the top of this rope that's right there. So he's going to have a bite in the rope. That'll keep tension on it. Okay. Once he gets to here, he's going to take it This was the first here. one. This was the second one. Once he gets to there. Bite over. He's going to throw his slack over like he did. Throw his slack over. And Got he's going to reach, he's going to pull that through, and he's going to pull tight against the tree. And he's going to push this up against the tree. See how it's tight against the tree? Got it. And he's going to throw the loop over, and then he's going to make, make a quick release. Hey, there you go. Well, normally that loop you make... You may want to make it bigger. This thing? Okay. That way it's easier to play with. It'll be like, it'll be like this. I'm going to reach off. through, he's going to pull all the way against the tree. You come back over, throw your loop, and you reach through and pull up, up against the tree, just like that. And this person continues to hold right there. He's got to right hold here. tension. So you hold while we're while we're pulling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he okay, tension. got it. Now, when he works over here, once he finishes that knot, like a, once he finishes that knot on that tree, 
this is that's when everyone starts pulling. So we're gonna pull, yada yada yada. One two pull, one two pull. We're clearly not gonna get the freaking rope back. Right, right. Only three of us. Then pull team leader has all the slack of this over here. There's gonna be a rock guy. The rock's gonna stay right here. He's gonna be pulling like this. So Christian, you're gonna be pulling right, right just like that. The pull team leader normally it's the guy in the, the guy in the back, but I mean it's all up to you. When I feel the guy who's doing the wireman's knot. When he feels that there's not going to be any more tension coming on the rope, he's going to say, let up. You are going to bring this rope up as high as you can get it, and you're going to bite over this. And we're going to come around. Those are always the, the, the front two guys on the full team who are doing that, right? Who are holding? Right. There's a bite team. There's a bite right here. There's a bite there's right a bite meow? Like the back side. Right meow? Right here. It right needs meow. to go up and cross back down over so it bites. Yeah. And, that, and that's always what you did, right? Well, no, the rock does that because I won't get that close to the tree. Got it. Okay. All right. So there's a bite there, too. I can't remember. I didn't go. I didn't go around underneath. I never did that. All you do now is you take the slack, throw it over, and it's important that you have somebody over there recollecting that slack once I throw it over. And this is kind of redundant, but for speed, this is the easiest way to do it. Now, the way this knot works is you grab your free running end, you come over here, and you pass it between the two ropes, making a loop. Come over here and look at it this way. So see what I did? I threw it over, I pulled through here. Okay, so it's right. similar to one on the other end. Yeah, it's, ex it's almost exactly the same. Okay. Now, this guy, to get leverage, is going to put his foot on the tree and he's going to pull back as tight as he fucking can. He's going to get a lot of slack. He's going to hold tension and he's going to grab up here. He's going to throw back over and make another quick release. When that's done, he's, he's just done. He's going to put people we, on the rope. We call for wrappers yeah. before people, people, you tie that knot. Before I tie this knot, there's going to be people up here wrapping. So, people are wrapping while you did not use tie. Yeah. Got it, okay. So you're going to be wrapping, and then once this knot's set, that's when you say, one, two, three, let go. And okay. then people, do you remember, to start hooking people in there over here. Okay. Right when you like you're not going to use this rope again, though, because I'm, I'm looking at it right now. No, it's pretty And it's great right. fucking t Well, we have the basic one. Yeah. Is, that, is that basically it? Like, right. So, All right, we're going to go over the near side knot again. There's a couple of things we're missing. All here right. we go. So, come here. Right, right, come to the rock again, please. All right, so let he pull, let he pull, let him pull, right? God damn, that smells like shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why you got a smaller face, isn't it? All right, so let he pull, let he pull, let he pull. All right, I go wrappers. He go up and wrap. He's gonna run up and wrap. Normally you have two wrappers. He's wrapping as hard as he can. They're wrapping in the same direction. Important you know that. Now, I come over here. Okay. You can done. You can stop pulling now. I put it as close to the tree as I possibly can. You got it? Yeah. All right, now put my foot on the tree. Pull tight as hard as I can. Got quite a bit of slack there. Yep. You, got, you have to have a lot of slack. Okay. Right? Throw over. You come underneath. Grab it. And then the easiest way to do this is go in between the two ropes, push it up against the tree. You use your left hand to pull it through every time. Yeah. And then they hand it to this guy. Alright, we're doing breakdown. Alright. Yeah. Breakdown. Charlie just said the extra rope on the near side has to be coiled up and then you can start breakdown. Yeah. So it's in my hand, right? Got it. Pull. Pull this one. It's really pull. easy. Pull that one loop. Pull one loop and pull it. You pull this one. And then you reach over here. You want to clip this one? The other important thing to remember is you have to clip yourself in to that rope. Because the, the, the near side guy has to be able to, he has to be clipped in before he draws it. Once that's done, he just grabs that rope and runs the car. And if you come over here, Mr. Peekers, when you say break down, he's going to break down that knot just like at the same time I'm breaking so down that knot. You both pull the quick release at the same time? Yeah, yeah. at the same time. Okay. Just as far as I break down. I just pull, grab that big old loop. Pull down. Pull and through. Pull. Can anyone? And before, you, last, uh, this is easy. Remember, you all help pull it, have it wrapped around. We had an extra person. Yeah, yeah. He, he runs around the tree and then he runs out. Wait, we, we had an extra person where? We, the first guy I crossed, you versus it was usually you coiled it up at the base of the tree. Mm -hmm. So they yelled breakdown, he pulled it and already had got around one. Yeah. Tossed it Got over it. and I went shoot shot off. Okay. Remember? And then run the whole thing. take that bowl on out. Oh. Yeah. And then there's gonna be this knot right meow. Yeah, one and all. It's gonna be over here and we gotta pull those okay. apart. That takes two guys to you, pick you up. You try to do this, watch this real quick. Yeah, Revis, you can do one. You can do one, but sometimes the knot gets stuck. So Revis grabs that D clip, I grab this D clip, pull, and then he lets go. You pull through and you unclip the D clips and the knot's done. Okay. And you'll have right. two more D clips. Down on the end, but you get to over, over meow. 
You unclip and you unclip those on your own time. Those are just extra ones that we unclip on the yeah, on the far side. Those are far side. Got it. And then. Alright, what, what is this? Is this, this the is to run from the star to point to the fucking whatever. <laughs> to the fucking whatever, okay. Mr. Weavis. Uh. Alright, the way I think I did this, I did this. Mm, you know you guys gotta return this because Alpha Company's using the rope, right? Okay. There's two other ones in the room. There's two other ones in the room. No, they're doing rope bridge. This too. one was in a bag, man. I know, they're doing rope bridge too. Alright. So, I pulled this off, and what I did was, or what I think I did was, I grabbed... Dude, that way, I know we coiled together at one point, didn't we? Yeah, but that was that was that was the end. What I did? Oh, okay, that's right. I grabbed this knot and this knot. But we had a problem with this last year because it was all tangled up when we got there. Yeah, but that's the problem. It's just it, it it's like a hit or miss thing. What I did was I grabbed right here. I grabbed this one and I grabbed this one so I could hold on to it. Yeah, yeah. All right. What the hell are those two? Do it again. Two ends. Like, no, These are trees. All right. Oh, this is getting there. I thought this was the rope bag. No, this is, no, this is, this is getting to the rope bridge. Oh, all right. We ran like this to the rope bag. Okay. Now the rope bag, god damn, I'm gonna see if I can remember it. How'd it look again? It was uh, a coil like rope just with strap. Alright, this is the rope bag uh, on breakdown. Yeah. They coiled up each end. Oh, there you go. Like one guy coiled up one half, one guy coiled up the other half and met in the middle. And then this black rope right here is gonna stimulate mm -hmm. the Swiss seat that we use to actually attach it to All the right. guy's back. It's not a Swiss seat. So it's on his back. Goes through. The Swiss seat goes through underneath. Comes all the way out. And then basically what happens. Right, nice and even. And we take a Swiss seat, the two loose ends over his shoulders to the front. Are we crisscross? Yeah, we crisscross. Crisscross. And come back around. Back around and then uh, tie it off in front in the waist. Okay, it won't go nowhere. And that's, oh, ain't gonna go nowhere. It's a double negative.